Hey guys and welcome to St. Anne's Park in Rohini for the Dublin Masters Cross Country. This is the men's race over 6k, a field of 285 finished the race. There's well over 300 registered but then you throw in the over 65, there is up nearly 300 finishers. A fabulous, fabulous event. Over the years just grown and grown and grown in popularity and yet, as you'll hear in the background through the video, the atmosphere and the noise is fantastic. <laughs> If you're liking what you're seeing on the channel guys and you want me to keep doing this kind of stuff it'd be great if you would like share and subscribe thanks very much as you can see here uh, pretty quickly uh, McClossey put in a big gap over Tudor Moldovan from Clonliffe Harriers now look Mick is an Olympian, Mick is top of the range, uh, especially on the country. Um, he, in this kind of a field, he's head and shoulders above everyone else. So, uh, hats off to Tudor for putting in a stern effort to try and stay with him. And actually kept in contact pretty closely, mostly throughout the race. The battle for third place was a little bit more interesting. here we have our leaders coming through with Mick just in cruise control really by the looks of it but um, then you had Tudor working hard then we had um, Matthew Kane of Rat Farnham followed by Colin Turner brother Pierce and Ken Nugent of uh, the North Harriers then we had the two sports world guys Garrick Moran and Carol Cronin and then we had Michael oh, Kiley from Looking Crusaders like The 
the men's over 65 had two laps and you had a very tight finish there with Tom Loftus of Rahini Shamrocks just coming in four seconds ahead of Jack Tyrrell from Tala AC. Now third over the line was Desi Shorten from Parnell uh, who had ran the Wicklow Masters the same morning so a um, bit of confusion there regards uh, eligibility for uh, the bronze medal. So third over the line in a sprint finish was uh, James Cottle from Crusaders AC and uh, Tony Kynes from Denor Harriers. So these two guys had an absolute uh, titanic battle all the way around and had a, a great sprint finish as you'll see here in a moment um, to the line. See here now testaments to numbers in the race that Mick and Tudor had to work their way through back markers. I don't know if it's the first time it's ever happened, I'm not sure, but um just shows how many people were in the race and also the, the high quality of the leaders in the race. And um, then you see Mick coming through here to take victory in a bit of style, uh, getting the big cheer from the crowd. Tudor coming through then to take a strong second place, no real challenger to him all through the whole race. Then you had uh, Ken Nugent of the North Harriers pulling away from the other runners to claim third place. Next then you had Colin Turner of Brother Pierce coming through for fourth and Matthew Kane who made some of the early running coming through for fifth, closely followed by Michael Kiley from Crusaders in sixth. Well 
done, Fell. All the way to the right, Fell. Well done, great run. Good Marius.
There you go guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a great day out in Rohini, some super racing. Conditions are good, so good for the runners and for the spectators. Very enjoyable all round. If you're liking what you're seeing on the channel guys, it'd be great if you'd like, share. And most importantly to support the channel would be to subscribe. Thanks guys, take care and we'll see you soon.